that point, it's a oh. We first brought you Mohammed Sohail's story in June when he showed mercy to a would-be robber who came into a store demanding money. The ordeal, all captured by surveillance cameras. So Hale grabbed a rifle and said the man began crying, saying he needed to feed his family. So Hale gave him forty dollars, a loaf of bread, and made him promise never to rob again. I have uh, six months later. The forty-seven-year-old So Hale says that promise was returned in a way he never imagined. He recently received a letter with fifty dollars inside and no return address. That's surprise for me. I said, what is that? And uh, when I read the letter, that's the same person. You know, the guy. Come try to rob my store. He read it for us. No,、uh, I have a good job, make a good money, staying out of trouble, and、uh, taking care of my family. You give me forty dollars and a loaf of bread. Here is the fifty dollars. Thank you、uh, for sparing my life because of、uh, that. You changed my life. Do you cry when you got that letter? Absolutely, because I all the thing all the time I'm thinking my mom. My mom say, "Help anybody if anybody need help." The letter is signed, "Your Muslim brother," and the writer states he's now a true Muslim. During the aborted robbery, the man told Sohail he wanted to be a Muslim just like him, and Sohail recited an Islamic prayer and told him he was converted. While the man's life may have changed, things are also different for this Pakistani immigrant. At his store in Shirley, New York, he displays letters he's received from across the country. Dear Mr. Sohail, what is this? Let me say that no person has ever moved my spirit the way you did. Wow!、Mm -hmm. From an admirer, your biggest admirer, Lee. Do you know who Lee is? I have no idea. People sending me the letters. And some have sent checks. Sohail says he's received a couple hundred dollars and now offers free bagels, rolls, and coffee for several hours during the day. And he vows to help others. Would you one day like to meet with this anonymous mystery man? Of course, I like to see him. I want to be see him. If he if he hear me, if he listening me, this person, come to my store. Well, so Hale says all is forgiven in his eyes. The Suffolk County police say this is still an open investigation as they've yet to find the mystery man. Mary Snow, CNN, New York.